This song is called Feeling the Pull. Again, you know that because you, you clicked on the link, Feeling the Pull, unless you thought it was something else. But this is Feeling the Pull, and I'm a little bit lazy on explaining it today in the fact that I don't have exactly... I'll just, I'll just, I'll, just I'll, get, I'll get to it. I'll show you. You'll meet, you'll see what I mean. There's two progressions you use in the whole song. That's it. It's very, very, very easy. And I've, I've been so lazy putting this, this one up. Like I knew this, if you're, if you follow the Swell season, like I do, you know that they played last summer in 09 on the NPR. They played six songs. One of them was Feeling the Pull. I've had it figured out since then. And that was July of 09 and it's April so sorry took me a while it's simple it's very simple it's gonna be a fairly short video maybe I say that sometimes it's like nine and a half minutes there are two progressions you use okay there is this one this is the one you use anytime you're not playing the course that's that's just a rule I guess uh, it starts off with a C E minor 7, which is just your, well, any finger, but the middle finger I use up on the 5th string on the 2nd fret. A minor. G sus, which is a G with the index finger down on the 2nd string on the 1st fret. And then F major 7. G sus. F major 7. G sus. That is the first progression. Um, and what I mean when I say, like, I'm not going to explain it, I'm being lazy, is that I don't know exactly how many times in a row you play it on stuff. So I think you play it twice to open, and then you play it twice for the verse. So you play it four times. And then the chorus is even simpler. A minor, G sus, C. And if you want to, you can be spiffy and lift up and put down your middle finger. Um... So the chorus is That's the whole song. And the reason I'm lazy is because, like I said, play um, this one when you're not singing the chorus. So during a verse or during some type of, just when you don't want to play it. I don't know if you're being instrumental and going like and then for the chorus, it's A minor, G sus, C. Now, um, if you want to get spiffy and have like a harmonica or harp, um, there's a part not on the album version. It's when he does it live. And um, it's after, it's like the last time, it's, it's one of or, or maybe the last time he actually sings the chorus. You know, he goes back into the, just right, this progression. And he goes... He holds the uh, F major 7, G sus, and he just goes back and forth. It's always different. I mean, times. And close on a C. He does that, he has like a, like a closes like that. That's feeling the pull. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, ask me. Um, again, if you haven't, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start doing this or putting it somewhere. I don't know. If you're gonna be at any shows, let me know. Send me an email. Be like, hey Jason, I'm gonna be at this show, because I might I I try to go to a lot of them when I can't. Obviously I can't just go across the country like and follow them around. That'd be cool. But I can't because that's money I don't have. Um, but let me know, especially if it's a New York show. If it's a New York show, it is priority, like, over anything. Uh, but even if it's not, because, like, like I said, I'm flying home to Memphis. Um, although, I mean, I live in New York now, so I, this is my home, but my hometown, which is just outside of Memphis in Germantown. Um, and then I'm driving with a friend to Birmingham, Alabama to see them on May 26th. So I'll be there, and uh, I like to go busking beforehand, and if you want to, let me know. And let me know if you have any song requests, and I'll get them up as soon as I can. Hopefully, 
sooner than what has it been like nine months since yeah nine months that i've known this one sorry but no one requested it well that's a lie because people did request it but i actually thought i had put it up but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling and let you go not that you like can't click exit but that's all ta-ta